morning in the Buzz, Love we are that. talking about friendship as adults. Now, it can be challenging <laughs> to make new friends. By the time you enter adulthood, many childhood friendships have maybe faded away. Mm -hmm. But as you spend more time on work res and responsibilities, you have less time for socializing. So we wanted to know, how do you go about making friends and do you even really want them? Well, I think there's something to be said about what Jerry was sure. alluding to. Kind of being okay with the group that you have because let's yes. face it, as you get older, your free time dwindles. Mm -hmm. So space that out over, you know, meeting up with all of your friends. Right. You want to, at least in my opinion, if I'm going to have a friendship, it's a commitment. You're yeah. all in, right? You right. want to see that person. You don't want to say, oh, I see them once every three years or whatever that is, unless they live really far right. away and it's just kind of impossible. Sure. But there's something to be said about maybe having a limit, say, no, I'm okay. I'll be oh, friendly fine. with people, but a true friendship is fine. Yeah. I just think it's harder the older you it get. Is. I mean, I don't have much free time to go meet new people. Mm -hmm. The only people I do meet is you guys. Which I consider you my wow. friend. Did you get that? Yeah, I heard the toe. Did, did you hear the toe? <laughs> no, I mean like, but that's why I'm. That's why we're friends. Right. Is because we. We're just stuck with us no. by no choice. <laughs> I'm digging myself a hole. I know that. Because no. she's getting paid to be here. What I mean is that I am. I am able to spend the hours right. with you guys because we work together. Right. And I think a lot of people do become friends with their coworkers because. You are around each other so much, you get to know them better, right. and then you develop this friendship. Right. Whereas, how many other people are you spending that much time with? Yeah, I would probably spend more time, like all of us together, than we do our family half the time. Yeah. Because we're together so much. Look, I, I, I think in your friendships, you probably have a lot of acquaintances. Mm -hmm. But there are, there's a difference between acquaintances and really true friends. True friends, you know who you can pick up the phone and say, hey, I'm in a bind, there's an emergency, right. I need help on this. I would have no problem calling anybody in this room mm -hmm. you know and and you'd pick up the phone and you'd answer right I think, and as you as you get older your friendships change too mm -hmm. your kids friends parents become your friends right. and there's nothing wrong with that because I've got some great friends mm -hmm. but that's just the way it happens I think sometimes too you then develop friendships with let's say um, you know your husband has friends sure. whoever their friends spouses are Maybe now you start to right, develop a friendship with them right. just because, again, you're in each other's company. Sure, all the time. Chances are if they're friends, they like similar people, you'll right. get along. Right. Um, so, yeah, it, it, yes. they just develop differently than if right. you're, you know, an eight-year-old kid playing a sport. Right. You make a new friend. Brendan is our friend. We can call him on yes. him. We can rely on him for some great comments. Okay. Thank you. And I you did know, catch that tone, though, Brendan. No. <laughs> all I'm saying, oh, I'm just going to stop. Nope. Nope. We're only teasing because we're friends. <laughs> exactly. Friends. But nothing's worse than when groups of friends mix. To invoke Seinfeld once again, when worlds collide, like when your work friends meet your old friends, yes. they don't always mix, and right. then you're in the middle, you become the common denominator, mm -hmm. and then I'm constantly, oh, you know, don't, don't even get me started. Is that play? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. Brendan's getting upset. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here now is what our Facebook and social media friends are saying about the whole thing. Jacqueline Gregor, let me try this again. I'm sorry, Jacqueline. Gregor Pion is up first, sharing in part, when you are focused on family, there really is no time to entertain friends or find them. Yeah, that can be tough when commitments, you know, stack up. As empty nesters, we find the few true friends we have are the ones we have always had. Linda Loisel King adds, I've had longtime friends throughout my years and now also have dance friends, exercise friends, but my husband is my best friend of 50 years. Very sweet. Tamara Lynn Newman adds in part as well, lives are too busy these days, sometimes to even grab lunch or coffee. Sad. We communicate through social media. Even sadder. Yeah, you just do what you can. And lastly, Dennis Weiner closes things out. My wife and I have friends that we met when our children were in elementary school, and we still maintain a great friendship to this day. When you can do it, that's the best, but it can be challenging as you move on into adulthood for sure. Thanks, everyone. We love when you chime in. Please leave your comments on the Buzz Topic each morning on Facebook, and we may even read yours right here on the show. You can also like and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. All of those are easily found right there. It's like pressing a button, isn't it? At the Roadshow. For now, we want to send things back into the kitchen to our dear friend, Michaela. Yeah, that